Welcome back everyone, Matthew here with Cinegold, and today we're going to take a look at the top five scariest horror movies and series on Netflix right now. Let's get started with number five. At the fifth place spot on our list is Ganjiam Haunted Asylum. Ganjiam follows a video crew that explores an old abandoned asylum. They know it's supposed to be haunted, but don't really take things too seriously until, of course, it's too late. Ganjiam is a Korean found footage film where the creepiest character of all is the asylum itself. While it adds nothing new or groundbreaking to the genre, it succeeds by just being genuinely terrifying. The movie builds up the scares and tension quite effectively, making it pretty hard not to squirm around in your seat. It's pretty damn creepy and definitely a good one to throw on on a dark and lonely night. Hey, wanna play hide and clap? Coming in at number four is the modern horror classic, The Conjuring. It follows paranormal investigators who attempt to help a family rid their home of a dark, possibly evil presence. The film and its numerous sequels and spin-offs have been terrifying viewers more than just about any other franchise of the last decade. The Conjuring ratchets up the tension and old school scares, and along with its sequels, it offers some of the best, if not scariest horror movies you will find on Netflix today. It's one of the seminal horror films of the 2000s, and for every Every horror fan, it's a must see. Number three is the one and only series to make this list, and that is Marianne. The French series revolves around a horror author who realizes the creepy witch she writes about in her novels actually inhabits the real world as well. Marianne is the most genuinely scary series on Netflix, but unfortunately, it got canceled after only one season. Despite lacking a true ending, most horror fans will still find it well worth starting up as it's an addicting, legitimately scary true horror. It's also one of the only picks on this list that can be found in virtually every region, so if you're a big horror fan, you definitely owe it to yourself to check out Marianne. Wave goodbye to endless movie searches. I scour streaming services every week to handpick you the best of the best films in every genre. So hit the subscribe button now and never miss a hidden gem or must watch movie again. I can still hear that voice. Cracking our top two is 2010's Insidious. The story follows a boy who is put into a coma after being trapped by evil entities. Insidious, like The Conjuring, was directed by James Wan and stars Patrick Wilson. But the film, despite being quite popular, never quite reached the same heights as its more heralded younger brother. But I'd argue Insidious is the scarier of the two films, if ever so slightly, and lays claim to one of the most infamous heart-pounding jump scares in any movie, The Red Demon. It's had numerous sequels and prequels released through the years of varying quality, but none of them have quite hit the same level of terror as the 2010 original. Number one, Sinister. Sinister follows a writer who discovers a collection of snuff films showing horrific murders that took place in his new home. In 2020, Broadband Choices conducted a study that tried to determine the scariest movies ever made by testing viewers' heart rates. Well, guess what got number one? That's right, Sinister. Sinister raised viewers' resting heart rates by an average of 32% more than any other horror film. While it definitely has a few jump scares, the freakiest parts of Sinister were actually the snuff films that were quite disturbing and played over creepy music. It's quite the show to say the least, and anyone who watches this film will at the very least walk away with a deeply unsettled feeling. While you're here, don't miss the top 10 scariest movies according to science with the video you see here. That's it for today, everybody. See you soon.